Hi, I'm here on site at Embedded World 2025 and joining me today is Fabio Violanti, C CEO and co-founder of Arduino, and Dirk Slama, Vice President, Partner Ecosystems at Bosch. We're going to be talking about their collaboration on the EU Starter Kit, diving into the advantages it offers software-defined vehicle development. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you. Could you start by introducing yourselves? Maybe we'll start with you, Fabio. Yeah, so thank you very much for inviting us today. So my name is Fabio Violante. I'm the CEO of Arduino. I've been with Arduino for the last eight years, and uh, we are developing this amazing technology that is used by millions of uh, people in the world. We have the largest open source development community for embedded systems. Thank you. And Doug? Yes, hi everybody, my name is Dirk Sauer. I'm a Vice President at Bosch and Professor at Steinberg Institute. My background originally is in highly distributed um, IT systems, so naturally uh, what we're doing here is a very nice fit and I'm very excited about this partnership. Absolutely. Could you also introduce the respective companies Arduino and then Bosch? So Arduino is the company behind the largest open source embedded development community and uh, Arduino started as a uh, platform in a design school and evolved to be not only a prototyping platform but, but also a platform used by hundreds of thousands of professional companies. Amazing, thank you. And Bosch? Yes, um, Bosch is a very large company. I've been with the company now for uh, 12 years and what amazes me every day I discover something new that we're doing. So probably you will know Bosch from our kitchen appliances um, but of course Bosch is also the world's largest uh, automotive supplier. We're active in energy, we're active in industrial and so on and um, this is why it's very exciting of course to be here today at this event. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have this very interesting solution in front of us. But before we get into that, could you guys talk a little bit about what inspired the collaboration between both your companies, ETAS and Digikey? Yeah, I think it was natural for us to join forces in this area because Arduino is a platform that is used by a lot of uh, automotive uh, large companies, OEM, Tier 1 customers, mainly for prototyping of some functions of the vehicle. And Bosch, the story, <laughs> I think of Bosch goes through vehicles all the way. So, so Dirk, maybe if you want to add something. Sure. I mean, I think what, what we're seeing at the moment is that the whole automotive industry is dramatically changing. We see, I think everybody sees that we need to bring speed into um, automotive development, that we need to be able to develop new digital features much closer to the customer. And this is why being able to rapidly prototype yeah, in the early stages, automotive features is so important. Mm -hmm. So why don't we dive into what we have in front of us? Could you provide an overview of what this is? Yeah, so basically we have a, here a platform uh, that is meant to lower the barriers to entry into the prototyping of vehicles. What you see here is a, a schema of the vehicle of the future where there is a central control unit, what is called the technical terms like a zonal controller, and then there is a sensing and actuation part. All these different components are connected using different standards that are also the standards that are used in the automotive market. But as you see from all the wires that are here, it is a real prototyping platform because the idea behind this project is to lower the barriers to entry to this type of prototyping. So here you have sensors that are talking to the central unit and the central unit is acting on some actuators. And this is what happens in the car every moment. And what I like in particular about this setup is that it's combining two different worlds. In automotive, on the one hand, we have, of course, traditionally the functional safety and hard real-time world. We have a lot of requirements somewhere in between. So actually, when you look at this here, um, this is basically a motor controlled by this zone controller connected via this central compute unit to this other zone controller. And if I basically turn this knob here, you can actually see that the other knob is also turning in real time. Okay? So there is no cable, no wiring. Uh, everything is happening through the different compute nodes in quasi real time. And then on the central compute unit, 
we can deploy SDB features that build on top of this, enabling new use cases through the hardware abstraction layer that we're building in via the digital auto playgrounds. That's really interesting. Uh, Fabio, you mentioned this is a prototyping platform. How does it compare with traditional platforms? So normally automotive is a sector that is highly regulated with very complex, let's say, uh, tools and, and devices. But in order to enable a larger audience and a larger uh, community of creators to be able to provide their creativity to the automotive world, you need to have much simpler and much less expensive, let's say, uh, platform. So the idea is to have regular Arduino products that everyone I think in this show <laughs> knows very well and making them available not only from the hardware standpoint but also from the software that has been developed in this initiative for people to have a starting point. And it's very different because normally uh, some companies are new startups, students, university, they are cut out from getting access to expensive uh, a very expensive kit and also very complicated uh, software while Arduino is very popular so they can start and, uh, and improve continuously. So I assume that will open up some applications. What are the applications that this will suit? So all the prototyping uh, for, for, for the new generation of vehicles. So Dirk is an expert here because this is just a piece of the platform that yes. we provide. So if you want to comment Dirk, so right now we're starting out with applications which are predominantly in the um, body and chassis uh, area. Yeah. So I mean basic things like windows, doors, mirrors and so on. Right. But I think that over time we have an ability to expand obviously also into more um, real time type of use cases. Fabio early on we were talking about, you know, um, autonomous systems and so yes. on, yeah. um, at least from an education point of view, I think we have everything in here that we need. And so what is it, you've, you've spoken about the advantages, you've spoken about the, about the applications, what is it that excites you the most about this solution? I think the point is uh, we are enabling a, a next generation of developers in a world that is changing at the speed of light. So the most exciting thing is not what we have today, but what people will create with this platform for what we will drive in the future. Yes, I would agree. I would say a key prerequisite for this is that all of this is now available at your fingertips. With DigiKey as our partner, we're able to basically deliver this with the click of a single button instead of people basically spending weeks and months trying to get the right pieces, order them, fit them together, make it work. I think the real value in here is that we have an education automotive platform that comes out of the box so that you can immediately start with higher value use case development, test scenarios and so on. No, it's, it's, it's really exciting to see what will come out of it. Do you have any plans to expand the functionality? Yes, of course, uh, as all the technology platforms that you can see uh, on the market and in this show especially, uh, the, the, the world is evolving, there will be more AI entering the space, uh, there will be more sophisticated computing capability, large language models, so what you can expect is that this is the basis for something that will evolve towards more intelligent capabilities. And if we could actually hijack the camera for a second, if you look over there, we have, if you could look over there with the camera, please, you see the Bosch booth, yeah, so of course there are many Bosch colleagues who I think will also be uh, very excited about yeah, thinking about extension packs where for example we could use Bosch sensors, integrate them into this automotive test environment to rapidly build out new use cases. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, thank you both for taking us through it and it will be really interesting to see what happens in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.